All right, it's cucumber salad time. We're gonna make a, uh, a spicy cucumber salad and you're gonna need cucumbers. I like these little Persian cucumbers for this, but you can use European hydro cukes. Just don't use conventional cucumbers. They have too much of a seed core, too much water. A couple of chopsticks and some blue tape to put around the cucumbers. Uh, uh, Honey, sugar, palm sugar, or in this case, I'm actually gonna use Chinese brown sugar, uh, salt, uh, soy sauce or tamari, Chinese black vinegar, a little bit of sesame oil, chili crisp, I'm using uh, homemade. Uh, you can use whatever you like, uh, store-bought or homemade. And, and if your chili crisp um, does not have Szechuan peppercorns in it, you're gonna need some of those too. Uh, a colander and a bowl, and you're all set. Oh, and did I mention blue tape? Gotta have the blue tape. All right, so all you wanna do is make cuts at a 90 degree angle all the way up and down the length of the cucumber. Then, I want you to turn the cucumber over and make cuts at a 90, or sorry, 45 degree angle. And then when you do that, you get that shape and just repeat with all of them. 90 degrees on one side and ideally take your time and do it at about an eighth of an inch, but quarter of an inch is fine if that's all you can manage and then flip it over and go at a 45 degree angle. And just like the first one, that's what happens every single time. And it's because the chopsticks prevented me from cutting all the way through it. So the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna take some salt and sprinkle it on top. And then what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that salt permeates every nook and cranny there. So you don't have to worry about putting it in the cuts because salt is a liquid that turns into a solid when it dries. So when it hits a liquid, it's gonna turn back into a liquid again. You can already see it turning into a liquid on there. It will permeate all of these and it will give up. There's a broken one, no big deal. Um, it will drip its cucumber water down into the bowl, which is why we set it there. And we're just gonna let that sit. You can let it sit at room temperature for 45 minutes or in the fridge for about an hour. And then uh, a gentle rinse and we'll dress the salad. So, just according to the recipe, soy, Chinese black vinegar, Teeniest drizzle of sesame oil because it's so strong. In this case, I'm using Chinese brown sugar. You can always add a little bit more of that to taste. Balance the sugar and the vinegar. It'll be salty enough, don't you worry. And then the last component. Here's the chili crisp. Now that's chili oil on top, but when I go below are all the solids. And what I want to make sure with this particular recipe is I give it a nice stir and I get a little bit of everything. And I'm just going to put two teaspoons in there. So I like Szechuan peppercorn. So I'm just taking some of these that I briefly toasted in a warm pan crushing them up so they're a little bit aromatic. And I'm just gonna put some extra Szechuan peppercorn in there because that's my, my favorite seasoning in the whole world. Uh, and, and this, with the cucumbers, it's just out of control. You're gonna love it. 
And all I want to do is stir so that the brown sugar dissolves in there. And I want to be able to taste it for seasoning. I mean, everyone's chili crisp is different. This is a six-year-old age vinegar. It's pretty mellow. Maybe you want a little more. Um, this is a beautiful uh, tamari from Dave Chang and his team at Momofuku. Um, some soy sauces and tamaris taste different than others. So you just want to taste it for balance. You want to make sure before you pour this over your cucumbers that it tastes right. And those Sichuan peppercorns are both ma and la, spicy and nummy. So let's just see kind of what we have here. Oh my gosh, I want that on my cucumbers every day of the week. So after, I don't know, 45 minutes, an hour, these are slightly cured, slightly pickled almost. Uh, and they taste like new pickles and they hold their springy shape a little bit. So I just open them all up kind of like that. Oh, I better do this one too. And then all I do is just give a brief rinse. And as you can see, there's water at the bottom that got purged out during our salting. And now I just stick that back there for like 10 minutes to get rid of the water. And I give them each another little jiggle. Sorry, I keep moving my camera. Uh, but jiggle them all. The reason being is you don't want them wet with water. And I'm going to roll these out onto a paper towel before I dress them with the, uh, with the salad dressing. All right, so each piece goes down onto the paper toweling like that. And because this is a salad, I'm just going to cut them into bite-sized pieces, little springy bite-sized pieces, right? Totally fun to eat. Uh, some people like to leave them whole. Uh, the problem that I find with leaving them whole is that people have to bite them, uh, which is fine if you have, you know, really energetic guests. You know, some people get totally irritated. Um, you know, I, I sort of, I vacillate between the two different ways of serving these. Um, you know, I'm sure the next time I make them, I'll leave them whole, but just pile them all into a bowl. So remember, this is made, I think we did six uh, Persian cukes. You know, usually I make this with 12 or 15, and I just double or triple uh, this batch of uh, dressing, uh, but it's super simple. It's really a technique more than anything else. Um, and then just stir that a little bit and go ahead and do it. Yes, Luca, we all hear you. And uh, the dog loves Szechuan peppercorns and can smell them because he's a smelling dog. Uh, but that's it. It's that simple. Avoid the temptation to gussy this up with other things. Just enjoy it all on its own. It's perfect. So they said in a lot of 70s movies, you know, like in the French Connection and stuff, don't get high on your own supply. But I'm just woofing this stuff down. And yes, by spiral cutting these, number one, it looks great, but they cure quickly in the salt and then you get lots of that spicy dressing in there. It's perfect.